I don't think I'm going to disconnect this power board just now because you've got these, uh, well, transistors anyway. I think they're voltage regulators. I'd need to check. But in any case, they're of this kind that radiate quite a lot of heat, so they require a heat sink. So you can see this heat sink compound underneath. So ensuring that those have thermal contact when they're reapplied, that's a bit of a palaver. It's quite a tight fit to get everything sitting around this metal bracket. However, um, this is a US model. Ideally, I would have this be able to plug into the wall here in the UK without the use of an external step-down transformer. And I have a spare UK transformer. So that will probably be the subject of a, a separate video where I go into the schematics, double check whether the boards are the same and the transformers are different or the transformers are the same and the boards are different. But in either case, I'll go back and make it so this unit works on UK power. But to briefly summarise how that's attached, as you can see that there are four screws here, one of which has this um, earth connection. And then also there's the three screws that go through these transistors. So those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws would need to be removed. And then the uh, thermal paste um, would need to be replaced. What I'll do though is I'll go and get the UK spare transformer that I have for 246 out of my garage and show you that because it's got the fuse daughter board attached to it. And I've described that that exists, but not actually actually showing you that so I'll go and get that there. Yeah so here's some parts from a UK EU model. If I place it side by side with this American model you can see it is the same but uh, this screw is just going into the chassis and doing nothing on this US one but it's securing this bracket in place on the EU UK one and then on top of that attached by two screws you would have this little daughter board with five slow blow fuses on it and you can see maybe why I was reluctant to remove this from the unit where the power supply worked quite a lot of hassle to get all these wires to sit nicely so that this will sit on top and then you need to reapply the paste to attach these uh, to this part of the bracket you can see that uh, this bracket containing the transformer mounts onto the rest of the chassis you go one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven screws. And if you really want to get the transformer out of there, and I've done it once before, but I think if you remove those screws, this part comes off and then there's four very heavy duty screws like that that attach the transformer to this lower part of this kind of cassette bracket bit for containing all the power supply stuff. Okay, so that's the end of the dismantling video. You know, that was really just to show anyone who knows roughly what they're doing but hasn't opened one of these before roughly what to expect on disassembly. I will do some follow-up videos on this model talking about what the uh, different cables do, maybe talking a little bit more about the components. I'll be doing a refurbishment of the Control A board because that's causing a problem where I can play back on all four channels, but there's one channel, I think it's channel three, that I can't record on. Maybe do some videos talking about the signal flow through it because one of the things that's nice about having a very modular system like the 246 is, you know, say you've got a problem with channel one of the mixer, just hook it out if you've got a spare, put that back in. The negative side is that the audio passes through loads of different boards in quite a complicated way. There's three different boards involved with controlling whether a record is armed or not. So if you have problems with those systems, then it can be confusing to figure out where the signal is going and where the problem lies before you start doing any kind of tracing or soldering or testing components out of circuit. So I will come back to those topics. If there's anything that you don't feel I've covered in these videos other than what I've just mentioned there, have a look through my 244 videos because a lot of that stuff is broadly applicable or very specifically applicable in the case of the transport to the 246. Otherwise, get at me in the comments. If you're really shy, you can message me through Facebook. Uh, but better in the comments if you can. It's a bit more public, eh? Right, thanks. See you again.